subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell icon. Thank you. Hello, my wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're bringing you a news from River State. The NCDC crisis guest offer as John Nunez testifies before House of Representatives Committee. The embattled former acting managing director of Niger Delta Development Commission, Joy Nune, is testifying before the House of Representatives Committee on NDDC at the ongoing investigative hearing on the alleged illegal expenditure and mismanagement by the Commission. The investigation of the NDDC had got messier on Thursday as the police invaded the Portacourt residence of Nune. The governor of River State, Yemsin Wike, who prevented the police from taking Nune away, had asked the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, to probe the invasion of the former NDDC boss. It was alleged that the invasion was to prevent Nune from moving from Portacourt to Abuja to testify before the panel. In Abuja, top officials of the NDDC who appeared before the committee had walked out of the venue of the sitting after insisting that the panel chairman, Mr. Tunji Ojomo, step down. All right, my wonderful people. As you can see from this scenario, the NDDC S boss, Joy Nune, was supposed to testify yesterday, but the some security operatives surrounded her house yesterday. Thank God for the River State Governor, Nyem Sinwike, who stormed the Portacourt residence of a former acting managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission, Ms. Joy Nune, and foiled an attempt by policemen to whisk her away. Just as the Portacourt drama unfolded, the managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission, Professor Pondai in Abuja, walked out of the section of the House of Representatives probing into alleged financial mismanagement in the NDDC. Before the police invaded her home, Nune had vowed to expose alleged misdeeds of the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Gosri Ababiu, who she accused of being the mastermind of the attempt to adopt her. The police had, for hours yesterday, occupied Nune's residence at 3 Owuru Creek View off Habat Makuli Street, a mother flat, until Wiki arrived at the scene about 10.30 a.m. It was gathered that Wiki's action followed a distress call from Nune that armed policemen without arrest warrant had invaded her premises at about 4 o'clock a.m. and had attempted to break in. It was gathered that as soon as the governor alighted from his car, he asked the policemen for the warrant of arrest, but they failed to produce any. At that point, he ordered them to leave the premises. The visibly angry governor, who was escorted by policemen and officials of the Department of State Services, asked Nune to calm down. She did, entered his car and was driven away to the government house a few meters away. It was Lance, the policeman had stormed Nunes' residence at about 4 a.m. when she was getting set to leave for the airport to board the first flight to Abuja to appear before the House of Representatives ad hoc committee investigating alleged misappropriation of 81.5 billion naira by the NDDC Interim Management Committee between October 2019 and May 2020. Nune, while briefing journalists at the government house, says she was notified of the presence of some persons around her gate. She said, I tried to reach the governor because he had told me if I saw any strange movement, I should alert him. They say they came to take me away. I said, for what? Do they have a warrant of arrest? They said no warrant of arrest. She claimed that about, at about 6 a.m., the policemen broke the gate and forced their way into her premises. Shortly after, she received a call from the commissioner of police who said he was not aware of the operation. She also alleged that a few minutes after, the policemen tried to lure her out of the house, telling her the commissioner of police had come to meet with her. But that as she tried to come out, 
the officers attempted to adopt her. They tried to break through the back door. It is a security door. They kept hitting at it for over one hour. They could not get access. So my governor came and asked them for warrant of arrest and why they didn't invite me to the police that I would have come instead of going to take a woman as a criminal. So the governor took me in his car and I'm here. I'm a refugee in the government house. I was supposed to be going today to Abuja to make my submission before the House of Representatives Committee, she said. She accused Ababio of plotting to stop her from giving her submission to the House of Representatives. She said though he had succeeded, she was however optimistic that the House would give her another day to appear and open more can of worms. Efforts made to get the response of the River State Police Command spokesperson, Namdi Omoni, on the development was not successful as he neither picked his calls or replied to text messages. Meanwhile, Wike has called on the Inspector General of Police to investigate the attempted arrest of Nune. The governor made the call while speaking with reporters in Port Harcourt. He said, what has happened today is a disgrace. Who knows what would have happened to her if they had gained access to her main room. I went there personally to see things for myself and rescued her. She is supposed to testify before the House of Representatives Committee. And here we are having armed men wanting to adopt her. We came out to project, protect our daughter and we will do so to every River State citizen. That is the oath of office I swore to. It doesn't matter the political affiliation. We will not allow anybody to destroy River State. It is so unfortunate and I cry for this country. Concerning the ways things are going, they didn't have a warrant of arrest but will storm somebody's house. In fact, the State Commission of Police is not away. Tell me how something will happen in a state and the Commission of Police is not away. They said it was Inspector General Monitoring Unit. So we have such a unit taking over the responsibility of crime fighting, fighting in a state and the Commission of Police is not away. I can also assume too that the Inspector General of Police is not away. He should investigate it, Mwike said. He added that if there is any allegation of crime against her, I will not back her. But you can't kill her for no established crime. I don't know who is responsible, but whoever is behind this should not take River State for granted because we will fight back. From what has happened now, I want to say that River State is fully out. Anybody who is responsible for this attempted adoption of our daughter should know that enough is enough. They can't treat her like a common criminal. I'm sure that President Muhammad Buhari is not aware of this. All the Niger Delta states should find out if any of their citizens have a hand in the unfortunate incident and call on such people to leave our daughter alone. She is no longer the managing director of the NDDC. Also reacting to the saga, President Muhammad Buhari stressed the need for an investigation. He also directed better coordination among security and other relevant agencies with the National Assembly to ensure that the administration's efforts to bring sanity, transparency and accountability to the management of the resources dedicated to the development of Niger Delta South region was not derailed. He directed auditing firms and investigative agencies working in collaboration with National Assembly committees to initiate action and inform the presidency of the actions taken. The president also directed timely sharing of information and knowledge in a way to speedily assist the administration to diagnose what had gone wrong in the past and what needed to be done. Buari said the administration wanted to bring about rapid, even and sustainable development to the region. On the Bush House of Representatives hearing, the managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission, Professor Pondai, said he walked out of the section because the chairman of the House Committee on the NDDC, Mr. Tunji Ojo, lacked the moral standing to preside over the probe. Pondai argued that since 
Tunji Ojo had allegedly committed a crime against the NDDC. He could not be a judge in his own case. Bondai walked out of the venue of the proceeding with other officials of the Interim Management Committee. In spite of efforts by members of the committee to prevail on him to respond to queries revolving around the expenditure of over 81.5 billion naira against the NDDC within the last six months. Members of the committee, however, passed a vote of confidence in Tsunji Ojo. In its reaction to the crisis, an anti corruption advocacy group, Magatsu Foundation, called for an independent probe of the activities of the Niger Delta Development Commission. Founder of the advocacy group, Chief Ekene Enefe, made the call during an interview with newsmen in Oka yesterday. All right, my wonderful people, this is all the news we have coming from River State, trying to say that the SNDDC boss, Mrs. Joy Inune, has finally testified before the House of Representatives Committee. And I must indeed say that this is a very nice development. I must indeed say that I'm really proud of her. If so many people can speak up to prime crimes in this country, the level of crime would be lesser than what it is today. I urge you all to learn and emulate from this art. I would also like to know what you think concerning this Mrs. Nune and Ababio's case. Want to know how you feel? Want to see your comments at the comment section? But please do a subscribe to this channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell icon to get notified whenever we make a new upload. See you in my next video. Thank you.